Okay, so um, without further ado, let's uh, start the last panel that I'm going to moderate as well, um, which is dedicated to gender, labor, and also uh, environmental art history and reality. Um, it is my pleasure to introduce our first speaker, Karolina Wojcicka, <laughs> uh, who graduated in art history from Adam Mickiewicz University in Poznan and completed the Erasmus program in the history of our department at the UCL University College London. She's currently a PhD candidate at the Institute of Art History at Adam Mickiewicz University. The subject of her PhD research is the care work of Miele Lanneman Ukeles in the years 1969 to 2021, which aims at the critical revision of socially engaged art, its methodology as well as its history in a changing context of Western Eastern art. In this area, she has published articles and presented papers at conferences both home and abroad, and she contributed the chapter to the book Polish Women, Patriots and Rebels, devoted to the situation and problems faced by Polish women in a public space. And in 2018, she supported the work of the legacy of Piotr Piotrowski, and she helped in the organization of the East Central European Art Forum. And in 2021, she received the Fulbright Scholarship of the Junior Research Award. Currently, she works on the project Understanding 1989 in East Central European Art, War versus Revolution at the Piotr Piotrowski Center for Research and East Central European Art. Thank you, Karen, and for this yours. <laughs> Do we get full screen or is it okay? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so, um, in my head, I have, I have come to terms with the need of public speaking, but my body doesn't know that yet. So, please. <laughs> uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for the invitation. invitation. And uh, thank you for the wonderful presentation we've been hearing to us since yesterday. Uh, you might notice that I have slightly modified the title of my presentation just to map the crucial notions that uh, are important for the topic. Mm -hmm. And I will start with the quote of John Tronto, author of uh, Who Cares? How to Reshape a Democratic Politics, uh, one of the key thinkers when it comes to the ethic of care, who wrote, what is definitive about care seems to be a perspective of taking uh, the other needs as the starting point uh, for what must be done. And this is precisely what I believe radical care has to offer as a methodological approach. So not only question of what is to be done is important, but for whom and why it has to be done. Uh, so here I want to admit my agenda. Uh, which I will describe as making care, uh, the new and central way of uh, inhabiting the world. Uh, however, what I want to present today is rather an initiatory recognition for what I hope will be a broader collaborative collaboratory research project in the future. It means that in my presentation there are ideas still, let us say, vulnerable, uh, but I think this state of fragility uh, is uh, remarkably important for thinking about and working with care as precarization, vulner vulnerabilization, exploitation and exhaustion became distinctive for social relations. Mm. My approach to feminist art in Eastern Central Europe is shaped by the contemporary paradigm of transnational intersectional feminists, which Marsha Meskimon described as forging epistemic communities beyond essence and identity, aimed at reducing inequalities in an act of feminist hope and solidarity for the future. Mm, as Karolina Majewska Goide claims, quote, we are now not so much worried about the particularities of East Central Europe conditions for feminist art making, but rather thinking about solidarities and alliances, end of quote, which I believe allow us to activate different or even somehow lost understandings of art as a care practice. Uh, today, I'd like to present a case study of a transnational, uh, transgenerational alliance that resulted in ongoing caring dialogue. I will talk about the performance of American maintenance artist Madeleine Manukalas and its 
petrification um, by, let's say, traditional art history within the Amer American context and later activation of its potentialities by caring responses from Polish feminist artists, Alega Polis, Pera Ugliazdowska and research collective Pisze Mubirobi. Mm. Uh, before I start setting the dialogue between those artists, I will explain how I understand uh, care and radical care and what methodological challenges it poses to art history. In feminist attempts to redefine care, a key role plays social reproduction theory, uh, which understands care in broad systemic and economic relations as woman's reproductive work. And uh, Silvia Federici was already mentioned today. She was also a key figure when it comes to this theory. Uh, but Titi uh, Bataceria explains it as a life-making activity. The activities and institutions that are required for making life, maintaining life, and uh, gen gen generationally replacing life. So to maintain life, we require not only childbirth, but the whole set of activities such as cleaning, feeding, cooking, washing, caring for children and those in need of care, education, health treatment, etc. This work is necessary for the survival of a community, but it uh, also has economic dimension. Uh, in capitalism, this is a work of producing and sustaining labor, but labor power as a commodity. But thanks to it, there are capable workers. Hence, we can describe care work as the glue that keeps social order together and sustains the health and life of people. In order to do that, reproductive labor is socially and structurally disseminated through public institutions and more often through private companies. Although the work of care is fundamental and essential for our survival, it hasn't been perceived as such. In 2016, American feminist philosopher Nancy Fraser diagnosed the crisis of care as an essential critical condition of capitalism itself on the one hand and of our contemporary on the other. According to her, the fabric of neoliberalism has begun to fall apart at the seams, and year after year, uh, each of us is experiencing cross neglect of the functioning of public institutions. Suffice to mention the global pandemic, uh, migration, and climate crisis. This is due to the systemic and historic historical process um, of making the work of care invisible and worthless, uh, free labor of women in houses or low wages for the care workers, which has led to the current multi-layer global crisis, which according to Fraser has its roots in the neglecting of care as an essential and central work for the social order. Um, so uh, radical care is then a direct response of feminist thinkers, researchers, and artists to the outline crisis of care. Uh, I perceive care um, mm -hmm. as a practice of reclaiming the political potential of care to reshape the world. Uh, this is an urgent need, as today not everyone has the freedom to care, and the burden of caring labor is inequally distributed. Uh, so global care injustice and global care discrimination are pervasive and access to care with infrastructures broadly understood to include housing, health, education and culture is extremely stratified as Elke Krasner, Sophie Link and Lena Fritsch stress it in their book Radicalizing Care, Feminist and Queer Activism in Writing. So the main goal of radical care as a practice is to redefine care to make it central and determinant value for a social and global order. Uh, <clears throat> in an attempt to redefine care through and with feminist art practice, it's important to rethink the methodological approach by staying with the trouble, as Donna Haraway puts it. This approach to art moves beyond heroic artistic figures whose role is to solve the problem and, and against epistemic mastery. So reciprocity, dependency, interconnection, weakness, exhaustion, material limitation and never-ending work are the main ideas for thinking about art for care and for the need to make new nuts in those webs, new ways to be bound into relationship between different care agents, human and non-human. It involves cultivating the ethical response abilities for what which is open to speaking through care. Radical care as an approach to writing art history poses also a question of how we can connect and understand our current situation of global care crisis from a transnational, transnational feminist perspective and what it can 
do to, uh, to change it. So now, this is mine. Uh, now I'm going to shortly introduce uh, a case of uh, major lake Lemanio Perez before I kind of uh, before I will set a dialogue between all of those artists. Uh, so. Uh, Maro Lady uh, in 1969 wrote a manifesto in which she elevated the downness of the care work to the level of art. She declared to be a maintenance artist for whom cleaning, washing and caring would be the actual artwork. Since then, she's been an uh, active um, maintenance artist exploring various aspects of the social potential of care within public spaces and institutions. Uh, in 1973, she executed few performances, including washing tracts maintenance, in which she washed the floor of the Wattsworth Ateneum Museum in Hartford. It was an ephemeral performance presenting the necessity, uh, burdensomeness, and the value of reproductive work required for art institution to exist, and also, uh, of course, the critic of the institution as place of work exploitation. At that time, the artist wasn't interested in its documentation, although the museum hired a photographer to make one and it was given to the artist. Uh, interestingly, art history narratives um, <clears throat> um, about UKLS were only shaped in the late 19th and early 2000s, when a significant shift occurred in performance and feminist art, introducing ephemeral actions into art institutions and reevaluating the ephemeral character of a performance. During the period in 1998, uh, the Wattsworth Ateneum organized the exhibition Matrix 137, devoted to UKLS, who re-entered the museum to show documentation of her maintenance practice. In the same year, the museum portrays the documentation of the performance from 1973 uh, in the form of framed photographs taken during the event. So for 25 years, uh, the, the, the materialized and ephemeral status, status of performance uh, postulated in the 70s was acknowledged by the museum in regards to UKLS actions, but in 1998 uh, the strategy changed. The historical narratives produced at that time treated photographs as evidence of the event. Uh, the feminist manifestations that made um, invisible work visible, so the mission was complete, uh, the, the undervalued work was appreciated. No one doubted the very fact of making care visible uh, on those photographs uh, or performance. But it's not exactly clear in those narratives what it means to make unvalued work visible. Is it visible because you can wash the floor as an artist in 1973? Or it's visible because the very act is preserved on the photography and presented as a testimony uh, in art institution? And why does visibility automatically raise the value of the, uh, of the work or of the action? I argue, I argue that this petrification of her performance reduced entirely and only to photographs by art history works against the very idea of maintenance art and care performance of Eucalyptus as something that is never done. As the artist stated in her manifesto, maintenance work is never ending, taking all the time and necessary labor. So let's try to think about this potentiality and treat artists' claim seriously. So what if care performance, uh, performance never ends? What if her uh, care action is just one of many interventions into the ongoing work of care that is happening no matter what? I propose to read maintenance art as an intervention into ongoing labor of care as an attempt to re reconfigure its position and value. Maybe one should ask if anything has changed in what's worked at an museum when it comes to the condition of maintenance workers maybe giving a raise or to the cleaning staff or a regular critic of the museum should be the performance documentation. I am asking those questions just to emphasize the need to preserve not the image, but performance capacity of the, um, <coughs> sorry, uh, but performative capacity of the Eucharist work to constantly produce and change social order and institutions. 
which is absent in the art historical narratives regarding, regarding her art, which may be the, um, a small generalization, but then um, um, we can talk maybe about some different aspects uh, of her work. Uh, however, as social reproduction and care gained more and more attention, a new generation of artists started uh, to work with UKLS maintenance concept, which created new potentialities. So in uh, <clears throat> 2016, in the same year in which Nancy Fraser declared the care crisis, Aleka Polis, a Polish artist in response to the worsening political situation due to the change for the <clears throat> of the Polish government in 2015, decided to work with the concept of maintenance art. Uh, she started <clears throat> the series of the performance titled Rosa Rotes, inspired by the book um, Hibiscus Town, which described the rapidly changing situation of the residents of a small town in China during the Cultural Revolution. The heroine loses uh, all her previous life and the ability to decide for herself, so she is forced to clean the streets, but she does not lose her dignity because of it. Police also points out uh, that the hibibus flower resembles in its color the term Rosa Lotus, uh, which was used to describe Rosa Luxemburg in German. A reference that is extremely important to the actions of police, because the artist refers to the class issues in Poland regarding women working, um, <clears throat> uh, a woman working class, and more specifically to the situation of cleaners in public institutions such as universities uh, where they were poorly paid. Thus, the universal reflection on care is reinforced by the thought of Luxembourg, who criticized the suffragists of, at the beginning of the 20th century, claiming that they focused on the interest of middle and upper class women, while the socio-political discourse basically ignored the concerns of proletarian women. So by making this reference, police addresses the need to maintain social and economic issues in the feminist fight for emancipation. But what uh, did the Rosa Rotes activities consist of? Uh, police received special choreographic training, uh, during which she learned how to clean most effectively. After receiving the certificate, uh, she began a series of actions during which she cleaned 10 public galleries. Mielenia uh, Góra, Wałbrzeg, Wrocław, Opola, uh, Beton, uh, Warsaw. And a uh, few matters of the market square in Lublin where racists beat up a man from Nigeria or the sidewalk in front of a hospital or churches. The artist was active in an extremely politically intense period when the black protests began in Poland, uh, art circles were discussing labor rights and direction of art institutions were changing rapidly. During this political crisis, it seems that the repetition, continuity and the artist's involvement in Rosa Rotes were meant to build a sense of social solidarity and codependency uh, that was somehow lost at the end of the with what she decided to end her uh, performances. Often she invite, invited others to, uh, <clears throat> to clean up the space together in an attempt to make it part of a collective uh, responsibility and counter and dialogue. One of, of the most interesting, um, um, interesting uh, performance from the service of this action was the one in which the artist uh, on wax printed her confession about the abortion she had. The rocks were then used to wash the sidewalk in front of the hospital. Uh, and I read the action as an act of solidarity with the struggle of women against the tightening of abortion law in Poland, but also uh, it clearly links the issue of reproductive right with the issue of, of class regarding reproductive labor. Nevertheless, from the beginning, the artist has been surrounded by controversy, including the polemic between Piotr Bermatowicz, uh, a <clears throat> uh, former Piotr student and now um, right-wing director of Wiesdowski Kastel Center for Contemporary Art, but not yet then in the, um, 2016. Uh, so he accused her um, of promoting banal art. Uh, as he stated, uh, it's obvious that cleaners work in art institutions and that the work must be done. He suggested that by promoting such banal and ideological art, great still life painters are excluded from the visibility. 
uh, and ideological and, of course, feminist. Uh, so the very situation prevents that women's social reproductive rights became a target of conservative critic, and art discussing those issues was <coughs> was criticized as deprived of any sophisticated form and dangerously too close to the banality of everyday life. Uh, it also demonstrates that the concept of care is not neutral and it's always entangled with power relations and could be manipulated. But what I want to stress here is uh, um, that all this adds to the maintenance art uh, introduced by Euclid, uh, another practical layer. She was aware that the postulate, postulate of visibility uh, is not enough to reconfigure care uh, relations in art institutions, so hence persistency, repetition, and over and over again executed performance of cleaning. However, in 2020, Polish government tightened the abortion law and the artist stopped her action, which I read as an omnipresent burnout and exhaustion that also needs to be taken into account as a part of radical care practice. Do I still have some time? Uh, okay. So uh, the other work that established a direct link to the maintenance art of Eucalyptus is the Scandinavian Dream by Viola Ujazdowska from 2020. Uh, for the artist, Eucalyptus performance was also a direct inspiration that somehow allowed her to work with care and her own experience as a migrant care worker. Ujazdowska is a Polish artist working between Iceland and Poland. Uh, her performance at the Reykjavik City Library was the comment on labor migration and the utopian Scandinavian welfare system. Interestingly, the artist didn't watch the entire interior, only mimicking the actual work. Uh, from the dust, she made a signed Scandinavian dream, uh, which she then carefully vacuumed up as, as a comment on the working class condition um, in Iceland. The artist uh, often stresses her working class background and her own experience as a cleaner, during which she faced xenophobia and inequality. Ujazdowska confronted the Icelandic audience with their own myth of egalitarian and progressive utopia based on full inclusion. She introduced the figure of good hardworking immigrants from Eastern Europe. So for Ujazdowska, the very experience of care work inequality um, maintained the identity of Eastern European migrant worker. So we can imagine that uh, this is the kind of same work, maintenance work of keeping things together, done by another artist, introducing different contexts and activating different histories within this universal care dimension. And here I want to very briefly present a project made by research collective, uh, Pisze Mugirovi. Um, here we can see Karolina. Majewska uh, Goide and Dorota Valentinovich, uh, and the performance is from 2018. Um, and the performance is called uh, Saturday's Laundry Day. And it was a temporal constellation, as Karolina Majewska described it, um, of repetition and mutation of Piniska Beres famous performance uh, washing with Meryl Lederman Nucleus Maintenance Art Manifesto. The performance consists consist in, quote, repeating differently the scenario of the action realized by the Polish artist, Washing. While artist was doing the laundry, the art historian was evaluating this work in terms of actual and symbolic labor. In the work by Pinicka Beres, the artist washed pieces of clothes and let them dry. When they were hung up, uh, they formed the word feminism, which was written as maintenance in the enactment, end of quote. The collective conducted the, this art-based research in order to reflect upon the actual process of historization of feminist performance and its maintenance. But of course, uh, there is more layers uh, into that project. However, I just wanted to present you how uh, the radical practice uh, of care can be used in uh, art researchers research. Uh, to conclude, I want to stress the need for maintaining this trans-feminist and transgenerational dialogue about care, and um, <clears throat> and the need to practice radical care through creating epistemic and creative communities. By presenting this group of works, sustaining dialogue with each other, I didn't want to say that margins are useful um, 
as they can tell us something uh, something new about the center, or that the exhausted uh, center could be activated only by uh, the peripheries with its revolutionary potential uh, or potentialities. Uh, I want to indicate the point of connection and ability of those works to respond for the contemporary crisis of care. Uh, the more common points and the practices, the more chances of introducing new tools, new uh, experiences, new knowledge and new reconfiguration of care within the social order. And of course, that was the uh, uh, and of course, that was only a small part of radical practice in feminist art, as there are also vectors and points connected different countries and uh, experience under the concept of nationalist use of care labor of um, uh, <clears throat> Uh, of care labor of women or reproductive work of women in factories uh, when it comes to the process of modernization. So, um, yeah, but there is no time maybe to talk about this project, so I will just end right here. Thank you for your attention.